Hey guys, thanks for turning back into Mad Dog Fishing. Well, I am down here at Shelby Lake in Gulf Shores, Alabama, and it is pouring down rain. I was wanting to get out and do a little surf fishing this morning, but right now it's just not going to happen. Not that I'm worried about getting wet. I just got other things I got to do today, but I figured this would be a great time to talk about a new piece of equipment I've added to my arsenal. And it is a conventional surf casting rod. Now, I've always used conventional rods when I was uh, catfishing and I absolutely love them. You can, you can have more line capacity. Actually, you can get a little more distance. But right now, let me introduce you to my new favorite rod. This is a 12 foot conventional surf casting rod. I've got it paired up with an Abu Garcia 7000. Uh, great reel, great reel. It's not necessarily designed for saltwater use, so I have to keep really good care of it, keep it washed down. Uh, Abu Garcia does make a, a, a wonderful surf casting reel. It's called the Blue Yonder. Uh, it's a little pricey, it's up around $300. Uh, I think this Abu Garcia cost me $150. Really nice reel, cast really smooth. But anyway, we're not talking about the reel today, we're going to talk about this rod. This is a rod I've been in the market for quite a while trying to find a good surf casting rod without breaking the bank. Because my clients really like using spinning reels, but for me personally, I like using the surf, the, the surf conventional reels because I can get a little bit more distance and you don't have to worry about cutting your thumb, thumb when casting or finger when you're casting really heavy baits. Now this is uh, one I got off of Amazon. It's a fib link and it's called the Moon Sniper. Like I said, it's 12 foot long, heavy action. Uh, well, the power is heavy, the action is fast. So. It's a really great rod. I'm, I'm going to use it, uh, you know, this fall for redfish. I've already got uh, one big black drum off of it and several big redfish. And I'll put a link up here uh, to those videos where, I, where this thing just manhandles some big fish. And without even a hiccup. I mean, it was great. It, it had good feel to it. I mean, it wasn't like some of my Akuma rods where they're broomsticks and really unless it's a 40 pound fish You're just not getting a lot out of it, but this one you feel the action You can feel the fish you can feel the battle and it's just a great rod. It's got just enough Action in the tip to make the battles really fun But I'll put a link in the description uh, To Amazon so you can check this rod out. They, they have a 9 foot model a 10 foot model and of course a 12 foot model and I believe a 13 foot model. I'd really love to get my hands on that 13 footer. But I'm going to start off, you know, I've been trying out the 12, really love it. And uh, if you're in, into conventional surf casting or looking to get into it, this is an inexpensive way to go. I believe I paid about $70 for this rod. Every other one I looked at was over $100. And those are fine rods, but just to, you know, just for trying out to see if this is what I really, the direction I wanted to go, you can't beat the price. Now I am an Amazon associate. I have to tell you all this stuff in advance uh, because I do make money from Amazon, but it doesn't affect your price at all. So, so when you click on the link, it actually helps me out, helps the channel out, and of course, if you purchase one through that link, that also helps me out. Like I said, it doesn't cost you a dime extra. It just helps me. But guys, today's combo, like I said, 12 foot heavy action rod. It'll, it'll handle up to uh, four to eight ounces. I've had 10 ounces at least on here uh, casting big mullet and it flawlessly. I mean, it didn't feel like it was overloading it at all. So it says four to eight, you can go 10 if you need that. You know, because I'll have four ounces of a pyramid weight and about four or five ounces of cut fresh mullet or a big blue crab. And that is, and this thing just handles it so good, so good. But anyway, 12 foot surf rod, Abu Garcia 7000. I think I've got this paired up with 20 pound mono. 
Now, if I downsize this reel, now the distance, let's talk about distance for a minute. I'm not going to get out here and uh, do a distance uh, casting comparison against spinning reels versus conventional reels. They both have their use. Uh, but I will tell you, this thing will get out there. It'll cast just a little bit further than my spinning reels uh, with the same setup. Now, if I were to downsize this reel to say a 5,000 and, and swapped over the braid, I could easily get 80, 90 yards with this thing. I mean, conventional reels, the world record is held by conventional reels. Uh, you can check out some of those videos on YouTube. You know, they're getting 150 yards or further uh, with a similar setup. I'm sure theirs is high performance reels and rods, but conventional reels will get your distance for you once you learn how to control it with the uh, brake stop or speed control is what I call it. But guys, that's what this, re this is the review and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're finna get back out here on the surf, do some surf fishing. Summer has been crazy down here in Gulf Shores with all the tourists. I've been really booked up with clients. Doesn't give me a lot of time to get out and shoot a lot of videos. Not only that, it's just been scorching hot down here, and I'm just not wanting to get out and fish in the heat of the day. But I tell you what, fall's coming up, and if you're new to the area, you got to come down during the fall. We catch some monster, monster bull reds in the fall. We have the fall redfish run, we have the mullet run, so it's just a great time to come to Gulf Shores and plan on doing any kind of surf fishing because the redfish will be here. And fall is my favorite time to fish because you can get these big black drum. And as the weather cools down, you get into the big black drum. There's the black drum still hanging around. I put my clients on the other night. Uh, we're still catching the big bull reds. But during the fall, man, day or night, day or night, they're here. And we're talking 40 inch redfish, you know, anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds. And they put up a hell of a fight. Not only that, You'll also catch the occasional shark. Put a client on a shark the other day. Uh, they wanted to catch a shark. We put a bait out there, and I put it, put them on the shark. It wasn't a big one, maybe a three foot long black tip shark, but they're here. They never leave. Guys, thanks for watching, and uh, sorry I hadn't put out a video in a little while. It's, it's just been crazy busy, but uh, I got a new camera, which is what I'm recording on today. Uh, We'll start recording in 4K. I've got a new drone for some, for some killer footage. And hopefully we can get that drone out, give you all some aerial shots of the, the places I fish. You know, I'm not giving up any exact location. I did that last year, and my fishing spots got bombarded with people. So while I do keep my fishing spots semi-secret, I mean, they're really not secret. It just places it. I like to go take my clients and I don't have to fight with with uh, a lot of people on the beach. Anyway guys, not gonna drag this on talking. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the water.